So this part of building the X set, I'm basically going to be focusing on the mounting of the uh, floor panels. I have the aluminum floor panels. I opted not to go for the optional welded in floor panels, mainly for a weight savings. Uh, the cost is, I think it was only around $250 if I'm not mistaken to uh, go ahead and have the steel floors welded in, but I believe the weight difference is around 15, 20 pounds additional to go to uh, having the steel floor. So I just decided to stick with the aluminum floors. Uh, this video here, I'm going to basically show some modifications that I made to the frame uh, to make the floor panels more flush mounted, as well as showing you drilling and installing the rib nuts into the frame for attachment of the floor panels. Now, I am going to be having these floor panels powder coated and I want to actually caulk the floor panels into the frame. So I'm going to leave them unattached for now. That's one reason why I'm, why I'm using rib nuts and not just a standard rivet. Uh, I want the floor panels to be removable when I need to, as well as I need to remove them when I tear the car back down for powder coating, uh, as the caulking that I will be putting between the frame and the floor panels will not withstand the heat of the powder coating of it. So one thing I want to go over here, uh, as you see, I got both my floor panels. They are nice and uh, CNC cut. Also, there is um, basically little holes showing where you should uh, attach uh, the rivets for your floor panels. In my case, rib nuts, not rivets. But one thing I want to show you here is with the floor pan panels, um, you know, evenly spaced, these jacking tabs, which are nice to have, You'll notice they weld them on the inside of the frame. My assumption is they do not weld them on the outside here for looks, I guess, but the problem is on the inside of the frame, as you can see, there's a nice big gap there. Moving over to the back, you can see the same issue. So what I have done, and it only took probably about five minutes to do per side, if you have a welder, is carved out the weld on the inside here and tacked it on the outside. Now I did this on this side as well, cutting it out here. And as you can see, that allows you to have a nice flush floor panel. Okay, so now on to the mounting of the floor panels. I have them held in place by four uh, quick clamps. Uh, basically, Got everything positioned how I want it uh, to be aligned on the frame. How I'm going to be attaching the subfloor panels, the X Motive kit does include uh, pop rivets. Uh, however, that's not going to work in my situation as I explained earlier with the powder coating and so forth. So I'm going to be using uh, M5 rib nuts. Uh, the ones that I purchased are a ribbed steel rib nut. So it's got a ribbing on the outside to help hold it in. And then I found these, I think they're called a low head or a low profile cap nut socket or cap socket screw. Um, basically a, a hex there and then a very low profile here. I'm going to be using this. Uh, this is in a black oxide coating. Also, I'm going to be using a washer um, underneath this as well for the floor panels in addition to adhesive holding the floor panels in. So basically the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-drill all of my uh, floor panel areas for the size of the M5 rib nut. So for that size, I'm going to be using a 732nd drill bit. And basically I'll be using this to um, basically make the hole as, as noted in the aluminum. Then I will be removing that and using a 1764th bit to drill for my riv nut. Reason I'm doing that is I don't want to drill the 1764th hole through the aluminum panel because that will give even less surface area for the nut or the head I should say on the uh, bolt to hold the floor in. Even with a washer I'd just rather not have that much uh, slop in the hole. So the first thing I'm actually going to do, I'm not going to, going to go through and drill every single hole on the floor. I'm going to basically first drill uh, about four, um, four holes like here and here. Uh, remove the panel, drill them out for the rib nut, install the rib nut, then I am going to uh, go ahead and put the floor panel back on, bolt it down, make sure everything aligns, then go through with the 732nd bit 
this makes any sense at this point, but and go through and drill through the aluminum on everything. So gonna get to it first with this smaller bit on a few holes, uh, just drilling through the aluminum as well as through the frame rail uh, for an alignment, then pulling the panel off and inserting the rib nuts. So now I have my four rib nuts installed in my cap screws. Really like the look of these low profile uh, heads. They are really, uh, really small and, and flat. So I think it gives a nice finished look to the bottom of the car. Uh, a lot better than the pop rivet does. And it's uh, fully removable and replaceable if I ever need to. So now the next step is basically going through and pre-drilling all these marked holes and getting ready for um, uh, getting the rib nuts installed and all the other holes on the floor. The only thing that I have uh, heard caution about is do not drill these middle bracket uh, holes as the seat mounting points can interfere with these. So these may not be the holes, these four here, that we will be using uh, because these cross members that run this way uh, have the seats mounted on top. So if you happen to drill one of your seat mounts in this area, you will not be able to get a rib nut uh, in there and the rib nut will actually impede the bolt going through. So basically what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to um, hold off on drilling these until after the seats are mounted and then we'll be um, installing those at a later time. Okay, so um, quick break from the action here. I have all my holes drilled through my aluminum panels. Uh, but I wanted to show you a little bit about how the rib nut tool works. As I have a riveter, but I was unfamiliar with rib nuts before this project. Uh, so I thought I'd do a quick uh, little how-to on to use these guns. So I have the Tack Life uh, riveting tool. I think it was about 40, 50 bucks off Amazon. Uh, you know, nothing special. There's a million of them like it. Basically, uh, first thing, take your rib nut. Make sure that it will fit in your hole. Then you'll open up the handles on this bad boy, thread the rib nut on, and basically you're going to insert it into that hole and clamp it in. Then the handle, basically unscrew this is the part that unscrews, and then you have your rib nut installed. So, pretty easy. Um, you know, similar to using a riveter, uh, just has a thread inside of it so you can uh, bolt things down and have them removable later. So um, here's a picture of the floors installed with the frame flipped back over. I also am going to throw some photos in here to show you guys what it looks like underneath. Now that I have all the riv nuts installed and the low profile cap screws. So that's the end of this video on mounting the floors. Uh, next up is um, getting the bulkheads and firewall and rear panels mounted.